Google's Dialogue Flow Mark Lesnick, Ticonderoga Ventures, Inc. here. It's good to be back to Sigma. Uh, thank you for uh, attending and, and uh, being here. I run uh, startcasino.com. I also uh, run a consulting firm as well that uh, basically implements Google's dialogue flow. So I'm going to show you a few things that are uh, pretty important to you, especially webmasters and, and gaming operators, uh, as for changes that are coming down the pike as far as how we're using the internet and how we're interacting. And if you don't adjust to these early, you're going to be penalized in Google in the long run. And so, I'll give you an example, what I'm talking about basically is voice interactivity. I mentioned this last year here at Sigma, that this was going to be a problem. This was a real conundrum in my mind uh, in 2017. I really uh, was concerned about this. Uh, you're familiar with Siri, you're familiar with Windows 10, uh, with Cortana, you're also familiar with Amazon, Alexa, that uh, they have uh, uh, the ability for you to interact. In other words, you can search, you can talk to the device. Of course, we know that some of these devices are not perfect. Their speech recognition still has some uh, kinks in it. But Google's, however, is quite good. Uh, everybody that has a droid and speaks to their droid has seen as an improvement over the last uh, year and a half, a massive improvement in the speech recognition. And so what I highly recommend is you get an app on the App Store called, uh, on the Play Store called Google Now Launcher. Uh, and that takes over your phone. You just basically talk to your phone. And then what happens is you start going, okay, well, I don't even want to look at this anymore. I, I want to just, you know, talk to it. Let it talk back to me. And that's what it does. It's also known as Google Assistant. This is taking off. This is, this is no joke. This is way search is becoming more and more. I, I was asking it how to concatenate in Excel. According to Tech on the Nay, the concatenate function is a built-in function in Excel that is categorized as a string text function. And it came it back and it went to Tech on the Net and it actually read from the site. It actually didn't read the whole site, just read what's called a web snippet and gave, and gave uh, basically the formula on how to concatenate in Excel. I want you to look at that page pretty closely because that was a search. That was a verbal search. What it grabbed, what Google grabbed was what's called a web snippet, which is the text was identified as a web snippet and, and Google took that and then spoke that back and provided that page back. The other thing that's important that you saw there not only you saw, but you would also have heard one result. One. Not ten. One. This is pretty concerning for a lot of you. I'll give you an example. You would do a long, long tail uh, keyword search on Phil Ivey, Texas Hold'em. Many of you would go to, you know, many of you are trying to compete for the top ten ranking in Google. That's what most of you try and do. I call this dumb traffic. You're just trying to compete for these long tail keywords, okay? Trying to just get people to notice your site and then go to it. This is very common. This is what all you guys do. The problem when you've got one result and not ten means that dumb traffic is dead. You want me to give you a better uh, image of that? Well, I'll put a tombstone on the moon. How's that for dead? Okay? That's dead, how dead it is. There's a lot more tombstones that'll be on that moon, given the scenario that I just showed you. There's something to think about. For example, when you saw that page, there was no AdWords. There was no AdWords. That means Google has to change their revenue model if they're going to do this. And they probably will. They have that capability. That's 95% That's 95 of Google's revenue is, is AdWords. Again, this was uh, also what about comparison sites? What about, what about uh, 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 private label sites or white label sites where it's copies of the same thing? They're dead too. Those are more tombstones that are going to be on the moon. So, I, as I said, this really perplexed me last year. I said, you know, Google's not in the business of destroying your business. They're not going to read from your website and not send you the traffic. Because that was what you saw. They read from a website. They didn't send the traffic there. And they said, that's not what they're going to do. They're not, they're not out to destroy you, and they're, not out to, they're out to help the user and help the webmaster. So I said, OK, they're, they're going to want to hand off the traffic to your site or your app at some point. But how are they going to do that? Well, if you remember when Google talked about mobile, your site had to be mobile friendly. And if it wasn't, if someone did a mobile search, they were going to derank you. Google was going to derank you. Well, it'll be the same thing. If your site does not have interactive audio, interactive audio, then they will derank you on an audio search. And that's the only way they're going to they're gonna have that. Now, how would, how would you get this handoff from an audio search? And we, our team thinks it's going to be along the lines of, OK, Google, talk to this website or talk to Start Casino. We made a special subdomain for that just to see if that might work, you know, where you know, you, you're now talking to our website. You're interacting with our website through audio. No need to type. Just talk. The problem with this is you don't have the AI. If, I mean, if Siri can't get it right, 
you don't have the, you don't have the speech recognition in the AI. If Siri can't get it right, you can't get it right. Well, there's the problem. There's the conundrum. That was, that was again, my problem. Google came out with, uh, they rebranded a product called Dialogflow in uh, late 2017, which basically solves this problem. What it is, it's Google's speech recognition, it's Google's artificial intelligence, and it's Google's chatbot, all rolled into one. Get ready. It's free. They're giving it to you. They're giving it to you, OK? The APIs and the SDKs, free, yours, OK? How it works is pretty straightforward. All right, so what it does, the user speaks to the website of the app. Then it, uh, the API or the SDK then, then goes to uh, Google Apps, send, sends, the, uh, uh, sends the audio file over to uh, uh, Google's Dialogflow. They then interpret what was said. And then using, again, whatever it is you pre-programmed in advance, saying if a question like this is asked, then provide this response. It then goes back to your website through the API and then, or, or your app and then provides the response. So to do this, you have to learn an entirely new vocabulary. And the agent would be a Google bot. The uh, utterance is what you're saying. In this case, it would be what is casino software licensing. Um, that's the, the utterance. The intent is technically, technically what you want, what, what the user is trying to get, what he wants. Um, the keyword, uh, the, the, yeah, the, moral, uh, the, the entity are, are keywords, uh, which are more along the lines of what is the words being said in there, the data being said in there, being extracted to identify, help the AI identify what's being said. And then the fulfillment is the output. This is a web page we created, and all it is is just basically a microphone. That's all we put there. You put the microphone, and we said, OK, what is casino software licensing? And then it goes, it does exactly what you saw. It sends the data off to Google. Google then sends it back and actually reads back an answer, which we already told it. If someone asks a question like this, give back an answer. What is software licensing? Most of the companies that actually run an internet betting operation are offshore, not within the USA. The vast majority are... There's also a chat bot that's included with this as well. We had the question there, what is software licensing? When you hit that, similar to the way you're familiar with chat bots, it would then provide an answer. Uh, and, and so it has that ability. It also has more than just simply text. You can also enter data in databases. You can add phone calls to this thing. You can have emails sent out, uh, data collection, all sorts of things you can do with this that, that you didn't have before. But again, you're not typing, you're talking. Um, there are two ways to implement it. You can basically uh, use the, the, the JavaScript code and use an SDK or an API to put their J, uh, SDK or API, or you can use what's called their web dashboard. They have a web dashboard that can, that can run. Uh, both basically do the same thing, uh, but the forms, we found some things you can't really do from the dashboard that easy. That's their website. You just log into Google, and then you just sign up for it. Like I said, it's free. It's basically a flow chart. Those of you familiar with how that works, for most of you have done chatbots, that's how chatbots work. Here's, where the, here's, the, here's the meat. So it's got AI. And so what you do is you type in the number of questions for the same thing. In other words, what is casino software licensing? How do I start an online casino? How do I start a casino online? And these are various, various ways to ask the same question to get the response. That starts their AI. After two months, it's pretty good, but you have to get this started. You have to give it some sort of idea of to where uh, uh, these questions are going to come from, how they're going to be formed. And that, that's where it goes. That's the, that's the real uh, strength of this. That's where it starts. There are some issues with it. I'm not going to go through with it. I really don't have enough time. Uh, it's not simply a plug and play. There are, it, is, it is work. Uh, you only get 60 seconds maximum audio time. There's some other issues I'm not going to go through. It is free, up to 15,000 requests a month. Or a thousand a day almost. I mean, most of you aren't even going to hit that. Those of you that are above that, it's fractions of a penny uh, at the enterprise level per, per use. So this is not a lot of money. The big thing is this. That audio, and audio interactivity, those you've done with, it with your phone, that is the future. There's no question about it. And you're seeing, as I said, Windows and Cortana has it. Okay? If you set this up now, you will have later gains in Google because you're, you're going to be ahead of the game. It has some bugs. The web control panel is fantastic. It does need JavaScript to code. And uh, this is the important thing. It has Google's AI and Google's team. That's great. And it's not a Google Plus project. This is not going to get shelved. OK, this is the future. This is where it's going to go. So th these, these are the important things for you to think about. Thank you very much.